Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before you continue this video, I'd like to tell you that the second volume of our art book, the book of Illustrated of Quran, can be ordered right now. You can support us by buying this book for your niece and nephew. Link in the description below. Assalamualaikum. When I travel, sometimes people see me at a restaurant and recognize me, and then after wanting a selfie, they want to have a conversation or whatever, and we sit down and have a chat. And when we have a chat, a lot of times it's about their family. This is my daughter, and you know, she used to pray. She used to pray every single day, and um, until she was 12, 13 years old, I made sure she prayed all her prayers, and then by the time she got 18, she went to college, and now I don't know if she prays anymore. What can you tell her? Tell her something that can... And the, the daughter sitting next to her, rolling her eyes like, Oh God, here we go again, you know. <laughs> She's being put on the spot. So first of all, I apologize to the daughter, sorry. And she even tells me, the mom even tells me, I send her all your videos. And so I, I'm sorry that she sends you my videos. First of all, let's, let me apologize <laughs> about that. But after that, the thing is that we have to understand something. We believe Allah controls every leaf on every tree. Allah controls every movement of every honeybee. Allah who controls every step that every ant takes. And I ask, do you believe in this control that Allah has? Yeah, I do. Then why do you think you can control your child? Who's in charge? Who's going to control the outcome for our kids? What they're going to do and what they're not going to do. Once they become adults, then their choices are theirs to make. We have to understand our only job can be to remind, but even that so gently, you know, and some, some parents or some, it's not just about parents, it could be siblings or spouses, whoever else. We start thinking, no, 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 that's all I do is just remind. But yeah, nagging is not the same as reminding. Sarcasm is not the same as reminding. Criticizing someone or making someone feel like scum is not the same as reminding. Embarrassing someone is not the same as reminding. Oh, you didn't pray, did you? No, no, I remind very gently. How do you remind? You know, you're just going to burn in hell if you keep this up. Uh, this is not the way you remind someone. This is not the way you do. If, you know, you're hoping they dress the way you'd like them to. That they behave the way you like them to. They pray the way. And then ask a hard question to people who want to do that. I, would, I just wish my son would pray. And your son comes over to the house to visit. He works in some different city. He comes to visit you. And when he visits you, you say, pray, pray, pray. And then he prays. Fine. And when he prays, why did he pray? I mean, if he was going to verbalize his intentions, they're not going to be, I'm about to pray the Dhuhr Salah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's going to say, I'm going to pray four rak'ah because my mother won't leave me alone. Allahu Akbar. Those intentions are not for Allah anymore. That's, he didn't do that for Allah. So what good is it? إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ Actions are only good if their intentions are right. Doesn't everybody know that? So if we're trying to control what somebody else does, and now they're doing it because we wanted them to do it, and we forced them to do it, or we pressured them to do it, or we nagged them into doing it, then they're doing it for the wrong reasons, which makes it completely worthless. It's utterly worthless. And so here, what the messenger is being taught is a profound, heavy truth. We are not in control. We're not in charge. We cannot control any other human being and what they do. No one, no matter how much we love them, no matter how much we think we're responsible for them. And that's the next thing. Parents feel like they're responsible. A spouse might feel like they're responsible. An older brother or a sister might feel like they're responsible. But I'm responsible. My, my, brother, my younger brother is drifting away. He's doing bad stuff. I, I need to stop him. I'm responsible for him. A father might feel responsible. A mother might feel responsible. The thing is, nobody's ever going to feel more responsible than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Nobody. Nobody will ever have more of a sense of responsibility. And he did feel the burden, the pain of people not listening, of people drifting away. He did feel that pain. And yet Allah told him there's a reality that even if it's in your mind, your heart forgets it. And your heart needs to remember that you cannot guide whoever you love. And when you see the one you love going in harm's way, if you saw your child going towards a swimming pool and they don't know how to swim, if you saw somebody heading towards a car crash, if you saw that you'd want to stop them, that's what naturally we want. That's a protective sense that Allah put inside all human beings. We want to protect those that we love. But we have to do it after understanding that when it comes to guidance, when it comes to changing somebody's behavior, that we have to follow the model given to our messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he's being told your only job is to remind you are not in control lasta alayhim bi you are not in control over them at all
go, you cannot guide whoever you love. Allah, in fact, he guides whoever he wants.